Hey there. I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. Doesn't that make a nice sound? So, just a moment. Hi there. I'm Cast Iron Katie. And in this video, I am going to season a Dutch oven that has sat outside for a couple years. It is in really rough shape and I'm going to see what I can do to try to repair it and maybe we even get to cook in it. I'm going to start with the lid. I'm going to use a degreasing detergent some steel wool and very hot water. See how well I can scrub it up and knock some of this stuff off of it. I am definitely putting a dent in some of that gunk that's built up on it. Already making some great progress. Let's check out the other side. Whoa! All right. Let's get to cracking on this now. So this is the the Dutch oven part of it and it is looking like a beast. We'll see what I can do to tackle it. And this is super super sticky it's got a lot of buildup wow look at that starting to see the bottom of it that degreaser is amazing the pegs are still really sticky i'm gonna try to soak them in this degreaser by wrapping them with some paper towel and degrease or maybe I'll be able to hold it on the pegs. I suppose I could fill up a little tray of some sort and fill that up, but I'm hoping this works too. That worked pretty well. I've got a lot of black coming off there. It doesn't feel near as sticky and caked on. It is still somewhat caked on, but not nearly as bad. I called my mom. I told her that I was really excited about doing this video. She was not nearly as excited about me cleaning somebody's dirty old rusty pan as I was. All right. That's as good as it's going to get until I can get it in the oven and bake all of that extra stuff off of it. I really think that this was used as a deep fryer. It was so sticky and covered in oil and grease, but it is down to the metal now. It's looking good. All right, the Dutch oven is as cleaned up as it's going to get, so I am going to put it into the oven and turn it on to the self-clean setting and let it go for four hours and we'll see how it turns out. We're getting ready to start putting a seasoning on here. What we'll do is we will turn the oven on to 200 degrees. Once it achieves that temperature, and we will put some vegetable oil on the Dutch oven and then wipe it off. The Dutch oven reached 200 degrees. So I am going to take it out. Uh -huh. I'm going to wipe it down with vegetable shortening and then wipe it off. You want to cover all the surfaces. Um, the bale, no, not so much. It won't hold a seasoning. It's a different material. 
So the reason why I use Crisco is because it's cost effective. It's inexpensive. This whole container will probably expire before I actually use it all on my cast iron. And you can use it every day when you're cleaning your cast iron. And it will not go rancid like a bacon fat or a lard would if you decide that you need to store your cast iron. the seasoning on it that is a good looking dutch oven it's turning out really nice for as damaged as it was previously i'm really happy with the results we'll put another layer of seasoning on exactly how we previously did it and see how it turns out the dutch oven is done and it looks gorgeous look at that lid inside there a little bit of roughness around there but that'll just all come out when as it's used oh this thing is beautiful turned out fantastic this is cast iron katie thanks so much for watching well fellas whenever you clanged into my life you were a real wreck we worked hard this weekend, we whipped you into shape, and now you're ready to get back out there and cook something fantastic. I'm gonna miss you. We really bonded this weekend. All right, now go make me proud.